for WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. It was the final day of Back to the Bricks. The fun today began with a military flyover saluting veterans and active duty personnel. Classic cars and visitors from all over coming to the Vehicle City this week to, um, to admire vehicles of every age and style. For many participants in the car shows, the event is a labor of love. They are already looking forward to next year. Two, one. All right, and we're off. Empowering amputees to get moving again. Bremer Prosthetics hosting a 5K fun run and walk in Frankenmuth this morning at Heritage Park. Organizers stressed how important it was to make the race accessible for everyone, hosting trainings leading up to the 5K so no one would get injured. The great thing about today is it's accessible for everybody and everybody is going to be out here no matter what your ability is. You can set a goal and achieve it and that's what really this is about. If you'd like to learn more about Step Up, watch our interview with, with them from earlier this week on our website or go to our hot link section on WNEM.com. And celebrating Hispanic cuisine and heritage today at the Saginaw Township Soccer Complex, La Luna Civica Mexicana hosted their second annual Taco Fest. Visitors could try a variety of tacos from different vendors and food trucks. There's also a contest for the best taco hat, as well as music, a bounce house, and crafts. Organizers were inspired to bring the event to Saginaw from similar events in Detroit and Royal Oak. We said, you know what, Saginaw needs their own Taco Fest because we have a number of different taco vendors here in the area locally, and it has just boomed in the last five years. And so it's really important that we try to um, represent as a community that we have some good Mexican cuisine. Organizers hope the event will help the economic development of the area while raising money for their nonprofit. All right, now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Raven. As we go into the overnight hours, we maintain the nice weather that we've had just about all day long. With one big difference, temperatures don't really cool down all that much going into early tomorrow morning. Most of us should be holding on to those middle 60s, and we're also really increasing the humidity. So expect it to be humid uh, as we start out the day tomorrow and last throughout the rest of the day going into your Sunday. With temperatures making it well into the upper 80s, a few lower 90s will be possible. That should send our heat index values uh, because of the heat and the humidity well into to the middle, possibly even upper 90s for a few folks. Thankfully, though, winds will be turning out of the north as we go into the overnight hours of your Sunday into your Monday, and that'll give way to some uh, cooler conditions moving in. But before we get to that point, going into your uh, later Sunday evening, it's not impossible that we do have a few pop-up showers that try to develop, uh, particularly for areas to the east of I-75 and south of the Saginaw Bay. We're going to keep a close eye on those. Overall, though, 99% uh, of the area should stay in the dry side for us. We keep those cooler temperatures around as we go through the next couple of days you can see by this point going into uh, your Monday evening winds are now out of the north and northeast so the cooler air uh, does come back pretty quickly into the forecast by uh, Monday we're looking at temperatures already back into the upper 70s middle 70s by Tuesday and then we warm up quite a bit again as we go into Thursday with more of that uh, heat uh, making us uh, warm up there into the middle and upper 80s and then we cool right back down as we go into the following weekend we'll have a couple rain chances out there in that seven day forecast as well right now the best chance is Friday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.